Okay. So let me talk about this. This came out very strongly. We have the death card. And the death card basically means moving on. It basically means, you know, seizing communication, realizing a situation is no longer feasible or viable for us, and vowing to move on, mainly because we're trying to reach a space of emotional stability. And um, earth signs in general, and especially you guys, I, I say you guys mainly because you're very understanding of human nature. Basically what that means is you take somebody totally and you take them, you take the good with the bad. And so when someone approaches you, you know, they might be <clears throat> somebody with a lot of um, red flags or they might be somebody who's not very stable. Um, you see the flip side, you see like all their cuteness, you see like, you know, their generosity, you try to compensate. So basically, you know, you go through the pros and cons in your head and you also feel like, well, everyone has their, you know, um, pros and cons. Everyone has their quirks and everybody has their negative and positive traits. Who are we to judge another person? So you're very understanding. You're very lenient when it comes to people either underperforming and not holding up their end of the bargain. You still stick around. And because of that, I feel like a lot of the time you stay in situations way past their expiration date because you see the goodness in everybody. And you also believe in, you know, giving somebody the benefit of the doubt or giving somebody second, third, fourth uh, chances so that they can redeem themselves. OK, you're not like quick to kind of like um, cast somebody off the way like a, an Aquarius does or even the way a Virgo does so you're a lot more lenient and I feel like there was a relationship here you're finally moving away from it because it's not serving its purpose in your life it's linked up here with a fire sign so this is a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo Sun Moon or Rising or it is somebody that you shared children with okay um, this person is showing up in the reverse position they're like not the most ambitious person in the world. They're very extravagant, I feel, when it comes to their spending. They're also like, they, they kind of like hype themselves up a lot, but they don't really have any solid substance to really prove what they have to offer. And a lot of the times I see this person as, it's not a bad person. This is someone that is quite courageous, very popular, quite attractive, but the energy is reversed, meaning that they go through life and they feel like a lot of the things that they want to achieve has been thwarted. And I feel like the plans that they have have been thwarted because they're not very good at planning. They're not very good at con being consistent. They're not very good at their pride will not let them work from the bottom up. And achieve something in a consistent hard-working manner they want to have something it's like they they want something easily given to them on a silver platter does that make sense so I feel like you're dealing with someone who has a big ego and they face whenever they face blockages or difficulties they don't really look internally like what have I done to contribute to this? They blamed it on society, systems, or whatever situation. They, they blame the external environment for their lack of success. And so just imagine if you're dealing with someone like that and they're, you know, you're in a relationship with them. How do you feel they're going to act when they're in a relationship with you? If it's somebody that has issues with admitting when they're wrong because their pride gets in the way. Or they're admitting, okay, I have to do something differently because they keep blaming other people. So if you're in a relationship with them, you're going to be the one that is getting blamed. You're going to be the one that they feel like is really holding them back, right? When that might not be the reality. And so I feel like this person um, and their ego, it's hindering your relationship. So it's more like, what can you do for them versus, you know, like, what can you, it's, it's a one-sided, it's a very um, egocentric person. And I, I'm sensing for some of you, narcissism. 
and somebody that might not even be very faithful or loyal and so you have moved on from this and i'm glad that this is you know moving into the past okay what's coming through in the present situation here we have the strength card and the strength card is about you know being the the um being very patient being like talking to telling yourself you know i feel like many of you are in a position where you just you might have walked away from somebody and you're trying to you're trying hard to be firm to be resolute but there's a lot of self-doubt here did i make the right choice is that person coming back are they going to communicate with me i'm also sensing as well you're in a point where you might even be waiting for them to come back into the picture to make amends to reconcile and i'm also sensing there's still communication with this person and you know there's a lot of chemistry here with this strength card it basically means two people that are very different but energetically you know there's great passion great chemistry and it can be you know the relationship at its best this person can be very generous but i feel like they're very extravagant they're very extravagant they 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 want the they want the the good life without putting in the work and the effort in order to you know get themselves there so i feel like some of you are still caught up in it and waiting for the person if this is not a fire sign if this is somebody that you share children with for example i still feel like there is some animosity between the two families somebody whispering in somebody's ears possibly the children oh dad is like this or mom is like this so i feel like there's still a lot of resentment that is pent up and in a way it's like waiting on communication not being able to move on because the other person still exude a lot of power and influence over you what you're thinking about here we have the ten of swords and uh, the thing that you're thinking about I feel like there's going to be some revelation coming through here this month in terms of your relationship partner. Whether or not your relationship partner, he or she has been truthful or whether or not they have been very evasive with you. If they have been very evasive with you, I feel like they are still in another relationship that is not done and over with. And I feel like you're going to be finding this out, unfortunately. And then for others, if there is like third party temptation, okay, the devil is like getting involved in situations um, that is not healthy for us or a bond of attachment between us and another person that is not healthy, is not conducive for growth. So you saw earlier in the uh, general reading, you have a lot of prosperity coming in. And somebody in your life relationship is really holding you back because it lacks direction, it lacks commitment, and it's really not serving your greater purpose. So why stay in it, right? And so, yes, there is great chemistry. It seems like, you know, with the strength card and this devil card, it's it feels very, it feels, it, it can feel like a drug. It's like when you're away from the person they communicate with you they try to reel you back in and it's really hard for you to say no because it's like a drug you have to have your fix and then when you're together for you know two weeks three weeks things start to implode you can't get along the old patterns repeat and i do feel there is third party interfering in this relationship and so i'm sensing many of you have been hurt greatly by a fire sign here so sagittarius aries a leo or somebody that you share children with and you're trying to move on with your life but i feel like you're at a point where you're still stuck in limbo waiting for communication the foundation here is something we know to be true i'm so sorry capricorns we have the three of swords so many of you are single as of this moment you're trying to forget your ex. You're trying to give your love to somebody else. Okay. So we have here the Prince of Pentacles, which is like the Knight of Pentacles. This is you adamantly trying to find somebody, anybody, like just to forget the past and trying to move on with just somebody new. And what it denotes to me with this card is when you're out there in the world operating from a space where you feel like very broken very shattered 
and you are looking for a relationship the right relationship is not going to come okay you need to heal this first and you need to take care of this first you need to take care of yourself and you need to kind of like ease up on the dating until this is healed until you can restore your own sense of self-esteem until you can restore your own sense of okay what went wrong with that past relationship? What can I do differently so that it doesn't happen again? What was I supposed to learn about that relationship? And can I honestly let go of it? And can I finally admit that it was very sexually charged, but there wasn't a lot of faithfulness and there wasn't a lot of like, a, there isn't a common direction between you and that person. Until you can arrive at all of these conclusions or until you can have this conversation with yourself in all honesty, I feel like you need to chill out when it comes to like the dating because it seems like you're scrambling looking for a person to date and that person, it's not fair for that person. That person is serving as a rebound, right? And so you're not going to be 100% committed to them. You're just looking for something to distract you or to dull that pain. And it is not fair for that new person. So I feel like you're scrambling here and it's not going to be good. Moving forward in the future position, I have another earth sign here. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And basically in the reverse position, we have here the three of wands. Many of you might be connecting with new people from a distance so i feel like you know they might be a city away they might be out of the out of state they might be you know a world away and so what they're really saying here is you know if you were dealing with this you need to just calm down a little bit and take some time off heal yourself and if you are fine and you're like on the on the lookout for new opportunities date somebody local okay make sure the person is physically and emotionally available because this long distance relationship where you're seeing each other as like the ideal archetype and the distance makes the heart grow fonder but when you're together you're not seeing the reality of the situation this is not going to work out well either so capricorns if you're you know newly broken up and you feel like you're not ready to date just don't do it i feel like you're attracting people that might not want anything feasible or long term if you feel like you want to get out there, but there aren't a lot of options in your environment, that's fine too. You can start dating if you are ready. But I feel like there's a lot of still waiting for excess here. There's a lot of temptation in existing relationships. And I'm also sensing a lot of physical separation, such as long distances, when it comes to you and a significant partner. And I feel like you are moved on from here a fire sign. And you're trying to reestablish yourself, but there's still a lot of yearning. There's still a lot of missing another person. And um, singles. This is a month where you are highly charged and I feel like there's a lot of temptation. But I'm sensing, I'm, I'm sensing that it's going to be very short-lived okay like a short-term relationship it can be fun exciting chemically charged sexually charged but it doesn't re really lead me to believe that there's anything stable here the three of wands is kind of like standing on the hill waiting for opportunities to come in and so if you're this type where you wait and wait and wait i feel like the opportunities that are coming in might be people that want you know flings that want like one night stand rather than a relationship <clears throat> So if you've been waiting and not really dating anybody and you feel like you're ready to date and you're ready for a relationship, you kind of need to move away from this complacency and move forward and reach out, okay? Make connections so that you have options to choose from. If for whatever reason you feel like you're geographically blocked, like the area you're in is not is very like sparsely populated, for example, um, it's okay to, you know, travel a little bit further away to meet new people, to connect with new people, okay? I'm going to leave it at that. I just feel like there's a lot of things for you to focus on this month. And so you're going to feel like you have outgrown a relationship partner. And I feel like for many of you, if you have a good relationship partner, 
give it some time and then others if you have somebody that is you know kind of like lacking in direction not very ambitious and you have it, it's almost like those rose colored glasses are coming off and you're starting to see them in their full colors and you're just like i'm not feeling this relationship anymore um just walk away from it okay i feel like you've been mulling over this decision for quite some time and it's time for you to make a move 